What's up, everybody? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is your boy, Moose Azakar. Uh, I want to thank you for sacrificing your time to putting your eye eyeballs on either device you may be using. Your computer, your phone, hell, it even might be your TV. But I want to thank you for your time for sacrificing it and breaking bread with your boy. You know, I try to come with this exclusive content or any type of subject that may be hot out there. I'm on it. I'm on one, you feel me? Gotta go all the way in. Do me a favor, like a video, share, and subscribe to that channel. So let's get into it. Yo, 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 you know I be about the, the unification of my people. Man, I love my people. My people are naturally spiritual people. But they need a touch of spirituality and reality. Uh, you know, and, and the reality is that spiritual shit, it's got its place. But the reality of it is it, it hindered the hell out of our people. It really has. So I am one, uh, I'm not in the nation. Don't know none of the supreme wisdom courses or uh, knowledge. But I support them. They get my support all day because they're on the front line doing work that I like to be doing too, which is resurrecting the black man and the black woman in the hells of North America. Do you hear me? Well, I got some uh, audio from the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, which is going to be on the end of this audio. But I'm going to play a little bit of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, in the beginning. So let's rock and roll, peeps. Let's rock and roll. Let's see if my volume's good. It is at 83%. And we're going to go with it right next. This is a lecture. It's called The True History of Jesus. Not understand your book. see him too. I see that man coming too. Now we're going to switch it over to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. America has been a land of opportunity for Italians, for Greeks, for Poles, for Irish, huh? for Russian immigrants. Is that right? For Lithuanians, for Latvians, for Estonians, for Spaniards. For Portuguese, for French people, for Dutch people, they all have come to America and the policy of the government and the strategy of the government is to minimize their cultural heritage back in Europe and to maximize an American heritage so that they could be 
integrated into the fabric of what is called American society. So if you notice, though they say Anglo-American, Italian-American, Greek-American, Polish-American, this American, that American, they all feel more akin to America than they do to the land that they are refugees from. Is that right? Come on now. So what does it mean? It means they have successfully been integrated into American society. So the policy of the United States government has worked for all Caucasians. But here is another ingredient. These that have been integrated are of the same racial strain, but of different ethnic backgrounds. Is that right? Yes, sir. They're the same race. They are all Caucasians. Right. Come on now. Right. Some a little darker, some a little lighter, some a little blonde, some a little brunette. But they are all the same people. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. All right. But now when it comes to Asiatic people or African people, you got Something different now has entered into this. To this very day, the Chinese are not integrated. Would you agree? The Japanese are not integrated and they don't ask for it. They run their own Chinatown. They run their own Japanese town. Is that right? Their politics runs their neighborhood. They've got their own separate economy inside their main American economy. You never find Chinese marching to get better laws for Chinese people. Come on now. You haven't seen a Japanese march yet. We want better life in America. I had it first, brother. Everybody makes their way. Is that right? All right. They understand something that you have yet to understand. They understand that they don't have to be white to get out of the American economy what their unity, their intelligence, their skill will enable them to get to support their own separate identity and their separate community yet within the body politic of the United States. You and I have not realized yet due to faulty leadership that we can maximize our own strength in America and yet be separate from America and grow powerful. We have realized that. We feel that the only way to be successful is to get in with white folks, be like white folks, do what pleases white folks, laugh for white folks, dance for them, give your woman to them, send your sons and daughters off to fight for them. You haven't realized how to maximize your own strength in your own vital numbers. But they know your potential power. And they said, we cannot afford segregation no more because the niggas ain't going to take it. They are too militant now for us to tell them where to go, how to go, when to go. So we got to abandon this as a strategy. Listen now. As a policy. Yes, sir. We cannot afford to grant them separation and let them build a nation of their own, even though they're big enough to have a nation. We can't let them do this. 
because if they become an independent nation and join the community of nations and look out in the world market for help from other nations to help them get up on their feet, pretty soon they may join on to our enemies and come against us because they may remember what our fathers did to their fathers. So we cannot we cannot let them go. We must not ever let Negroes, niggers, or colored people even entertain the idea that they should have a nation of their own. That is unthinkable. Don't let them think like that. Make them think that everything that they want, everything that they need, they must seek it from us. So a strategy was evolved into a policy. And that policy became the cry of the government under John F. Kennedy. And it became the cry of the liberal wing of the Democratic Party, and it became the cry of all sick and affected black leaders who have always felt that unless we are approved by white people, we are not approved at all. Unless we get some certificate from them saying, you okay, you're really not okay. So separation is crazy. Separation is absolutely insane if you look at separation from their viewpoint. Separation is madness. How can we make it by ourselves? This is our black leaders. Oh, I wouldn't want to live in any place where they're all Negroes. I mean, you listen to them, brother. Say, if I don't wake up in the morning and see a white face, I know I'm in hell. If I can't get up and ride the subway and see somebody white somewhere, I'm in trouble. I don't want nothing that's all black. I don't want no all black nothing. I mean, there are people that think just like that. Oh, man. I, I, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for Farrakhan Invites. Uh, subscribe to that channel, too, man. They drop gems all day. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time, and, and I, I thank you for sacrificing it and peeping out what the minister had to say. Well, this is your boy. I got to get to moving. Got to get these clothes out this washer. So I will holler at y'all later on. Peace and a ball of hair grease.